I've got a great TV to show you all today. This is another Lerva television. It's not 100 Hz. It's just a good old school 50, 60 Hz TV, which will suit retro gaming needs very well. I'm led to believe it's a bit of a rare one. I'm not sure if that's in regards just to the color of the television. That is the case on the outside. It's a gray rather than a black finish. But regardless of that, the chassis and tube inside it are used in a wide range of other Lerva televisions such as the Kalita range and the Profil range. This is actually a contour, the Lerva Contour 1470. 68 or 66 centimeters, not sure off the top of my head. Got the pattern on the screen there, the convergence pattern, and I'll point out a little follow. Oh, I don't know what this is, I've never really seen anything like this before. It's just got a little kink where the horizontal and vertical lines intersect together. It's, it's, it's not that noticeable there. But apart from that, the geometry is probably one of the best I've seen on a television. It's very straight, very straight horizontally and vertically. Really good stuff from Lerva there. Let's go around the back. Here you are at the back. Not much to show here. One SCART socket and the antenna socket. One SCART of RGB. And there's your label. Something to remember here is that bit there that says E3000 slash blackline. The E3000 refers to the chassis inside the TV that drives the television. And the blackline refers to the type of tube. I can say unquestionably right now, if you're looking for a good old school CRT TV, Get a Lerva with an E3000 in it, you won't regret it. I'll show you some gaming stuff in a moment. E3000 style. Beautiful. As I said before, used in many different Lerva models. Can't recommend it enough. I'll move around the TV so you can actually see the case of it a bit better. I'll give you three reasons why you should buy a television like this for retro gaming. One, great picture. The quality of these Lervas with the E3000 chassis inside is fantastic. Two, cheap. You can pick up low-end Lerva televisions for next to nothing. A dollar, twenty dollars, whatever. Whatever the seller might think it's worth. I generally do not go for much at all. And three, I wouldn't say that they are abundant, but they're reasonably plentiful at the moment. I think Lerva did pretty well in Australia back in the mid-90s. They had some very competitive elite price low-end TVs at that stage in the market. And the uptake was, was good because on eBay now, there's always a few Lervas kicking about. Grundig, on the other hand, probably second place to Lerva. A few Grundigs around. And then maybe Metz or Blorpunk or Siemens, but they're fairly distant third place and so forth. So there's the three reasons. Lerva with the E3000 chassis. Ideal retro gaming television. As simple as that. Well, that's it. Definitely go out and hunt one up. Catches next time.